Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be a fun video. Today we're gonna to be doing some cleaning, but we're also gonna be doing some fun holiday baking. And I'm gonna share two of my favorite holiday recipes with you. We're gonna make gingerbread cookies, but this is not your average gingerbread cookie recipe. These are the best gingerbread cookies you will probably ever taste. And then we're also gonna make some really yummy and easy Oreo balls. I also partnered with Viva on this video and I will share with you my favorite paper towels a little bit later. So the first thing that we are doing is just tidying up the kitchen a little bit. I like to start out with zero dishes in the sink and all of the countertops cleared off and wiped down so that I can really focus on baking or cooking or whatever I'm doing in the kitchen. And to me, that makes it more enjoyable if I'm working in a clean space. Yes, I am on my way. Every time the snow is All right, so let's talk paper towels. I wanna to show you guys our favorite paper towels, which are the Viva paper towels. The reason that we love using Viva paper towels is because they go beyond being your everyday paper towel that you use to clean up everyday spills. You can actually use these paper towels to clean like a cloth. I like using the signature cloth because like I said, it cleans like a cloth. It's super durable. It's great for deep cleaning, hard dry down messes from my floors or my stove top. It's also really great for removing oil and grease from cookware. And this is just a really sturdy, heavy duty cloth. And then the Viva multi-surface cloth has a really unique texture to it. It's got these grooves that are great for trapping dirt and dust and liquid or really anything that I'm trying to pick up or wipe down. This cloth also does not leave any kind of fuzzy residue behind, so I like to use this on glass and shiny surfaces. I also like to use this cloth to wipe down my appliances, and you could literally dry dishes with how well it absorbs. My kids seem to leave crumbs everywhere they go, so this is my go-to cloth for wiping up things like crumbs off the table. So Viva cloths are awesome. You can go to vivatowels.com for more information. And I also have a link in the description box below. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you. Holding you till we forget it all How could I know there was no second chances Like dominoes, my life got really scattered You couldn't keep the door shut And now the frostbite's creeping in Cause I've been stone cold since you left me here So come home, why won't you reappear Things that I said can't speak of the truth when it's tainted I fell into a big black hole It got me stone cold
So the first recipe that I'm gonna make today is gingerbread cookies. And I have been making these cookies for years now. I started when I was a kid and it is definitely the best gingerbread cookie recipe I have ever found. I've tried other recipes before and this one is the best. They're soft and they hold their shape and they're really tasty. So I can't believe I'm sharing this with you guys. This is my secret recipe, but I am gonna share it with you guys. This is the original paper that um, my friend's mom gave me years ago and I've kept it this long. And then this is also from when I was a kid. Let's see if there's dates in here. I actually have some dates written in here. 6-5-2006. So I've had this cookbook for a really long time. Back when I was little, I started this. So this is a really special book to me. But let's get started making the gingerbread cookies. All right, so let's get started on the baking. The first thing that I am doing is the gingerbread cookies and to a bowl, I am adding the dry ingredients first. So you'll need four cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons baking soda, and a fourth a teaspoon salt. Mix that together and then set it aside. And then to another bowl that you can mix in, add two sticks or one cup of softened butter. And one cup sugar. And then you're gonna mix this well. Next, add two teaspoons of cinnamon. I actually like to add a little bit more, so I did a whole tablespoon. Add one teaspoon cloves. And one tablespoon ground ginger. And then mix this all together. Next, add a half a cup of water, which I forgot to show and then also add a half a cup of dark molasses. The molasses is one of my favorite parts to these cookies. It gives it a really rich, unique flavor. Then mix all of this really well. It's gonna look a little separated because the water and the butter don't mix well together, but that's okay, that's totally normal. Once the wet ingredients are fully incorporated, then add in your dry mixture. I've been making these cookies for a while and I have learned that there's a fine line between under mixing and over mixing these cookies. So make sure that they're just mixed really well, but don't over mix them. Once your dough is done, go ahead and cover your bowl with some plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge to chill for an hour. This is gonna make it easier to roll out later. So while my gingerbread cookies are chilling in the refrigerator, I'm gonna move on to making the Oreo balls. So go ahead and put some chocolate sandwich cookies into a blender or a food processor, and you're gonna blend it until the cookies turn into fine crumbs. Pour your cookies into a bowl and add a stick of softened cream cheese. Mix this all together until the cream cheese is fully incorporated. The next step is rolling this mixture into balls and you can make them whatever size you want. I think mine were about an inch, but I like to use this cookie dough scoop to help me make sure that the balls are all a uniform size. Once all of the Oreo balls are rolled out, then you're gonna also put these in the refrigerator to kind of chill and set a little bit. My gingerbread cookie dough is ready to go, so I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees. And now it's time to roll out the cookies. 
I use just some parchment paper with some flour on it to roll out my cookie dough. But I do have a tip, if your parchment paper tends to slide around, then sprinkle a little bit of water underneath the bottom of it and it will stick it to your countertop surface and keep it from sliding around. So roll out your cookie dough to about a fourth of an inch. I like my cookies to be a little bit on the thicker side, so this is totally up to you and your preference, but in my personal opinion, make sure that you don't roll them out too thin, otherwise they won't be quite as soft when you bake them. Put them in the oven between five and eight minutes. I like to start at five and then add a couple minutes until they are done to my liking. But it's very important to make sure that you don't overbake these cookies, otherwise they'll be crunchy. So while my gingerbread men are cooling before we frost them, I'm gonna move back over to the Oreo balls. And the last step is to dip them in almond bark. So what I do is I just break up the almond bark and put it in a microwave safe bowl. And then put it in the microwave until the almond bark is completely melted. Next, you're gonna dip each Oreo ball into the almond bark and completely coat it. This is why it's important to chill your Oreo balls before dipping them because the almond bark is a little bit warm. So by chilling them, it helps them hold their shape. Another thing to keep in mind is that this almond bark will dry fast. So you can get creative and add toppings if you want to. I am gonna add a little bit later, you'll see some crushed candy cane. But if you are gonna sprinkle any kind of sprinkles on top, make sure to add the sprinkles right after you dip in the almond bark so that the sprinkles will stick before the almond bark hardens. The last thing we're gonna do before we clean up the kitchen is frost our gingerbread men. And so I am making a royal icing. To a bowl, add two egg whites, a teaspoon of vanilla, and blend this until frothy. Then add three cups of powdered sugar. And you're gonna blend this for about five minutes until the frosting is stiff. I didn't have a piping bag, so I'm using a very tiny Ziploc bag since that's all I had on hand, but it did work. I just cut off the corner and used that kind of like a piping bag. This stuff also hardens pretty fast, so if you're gonna add any kind of buttons or other decorations that need to stick to the frosting, make sure you do that before it hardens. All 
All right, now that the fun stuff is over, we're gonna get into cleaning up this kitchen. The first thing that I'm doing is wiping down all of my appliances. I'm really particular and I like to make sure that my appliances are cleaned after each use before I put them away. I'm also gathering up all the dishes and bringing them over to the sink so that I can do those all at one time. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you, want to see you smile? Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? Moving on to the dishes, I like to rinse off my dishes pretty well before adding them to the dishwasher. You might think it's an extra step, but I do find that my dishes come out of the dishwasher cleaner this way. And then somehow I didn't end up recording myself loading the dishes into the dishwasher, but that's what I did after I rinsed them all. Next, I'm gonna clean out my sink, and I use just a DIY sink scrub. It's baking soda and some citrus essential oils, and that is it.
So that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun baking some holiday goodies with me and also got some cleaning motivation to maybe clean your own kitchens as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so so you don't miss any of the fun videos that we have coming up. Baby boy will be here so soon and you don't wanna miss the birth vlog or birth announcement and things like that. You can also follow us on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. There I will probably update you guys first when I go into labor. I also have a wellness Instagram account at simplyessentials underscore Allie. And if you are into wellness, non-toxic living, or you want to see some DIYs, then go ahead and follow me there. And then don't forget to go to vivatowels.com for more information on Viva's various products. I also have a link in my description box below. All right, you guys, I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.